Boeing has had a pretty awful track record recently. A plane lost a wheel, one leaked some sort of fluid and had to turn around, an engine caught fire, a plane dropped mid-flight and people had to go to hospital, and of course one plane had the bloody door fly off. All of these planes were Boeing models, which of course has led to a federal investigation into the company. After all, Boeing used to have a reputation for being one of the safest producers out there, and it's weird to see their good name shredded to tatters in 2024. Naturally, plane flight is one of the biggest fears in the world for a lot of people, despite it being technically much safer than driving a car. And so, there has been countless memes making fun of the situation, all serving to quickly and efficiently spread the news surrounding the issues Boeing planes are having. Not to mention, perhaps the biggest part of the story is that a whistleblower, former Boeing worker John Barnett, has been found dead. Barnett says he repeatedly reported defects in Boeing planes over his 30-year career. Whilst he was giving evidence to support his claims, he was found dead with what was reported as a self-inflicted injury. Of course, the idea that he didn't really kill himself has spread across the internet like wildfire, especially in the wake of one of the biggest memes about a certain former billionaire. The meme that Boeing planes are untrustworthy, and that there's even a conspiracy theory following this idea, is the perfect storm for the internet to explode. Chances are you've already seen a Boeing meme, and vaguely knew what this video would be about before knowing all the details. Or maybe you know the entire story from top to bottom because you've been swamped with a combination of news headlines and memes that have helped fill in the gaps. Either way, the truth is that news relies on meme culture to spread in today's world. The consumption of news, such as the fact that a whistleblower has been found dead and Boeing is under federal investigation, is no longer dictated by journalistic companies. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. It is now a joint venture between the people who thrive on social media and the news companies throwing out the stories to capitalize on the fact that the fear of flying is one of humanity's most common ailments. In short, the Boeing problems leading to a federal investigation and the untimely death of a whistleblower has become a situation in which the online world is thriving, swapping stories, news, and conspiracy theories through memes. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. I remember. Like and subscribe! <laughs>